Where was I 19 years ago on the 11th of September in the year 2001? I was a 41-year-old lieutenant colonel. I was serving at Fort Rucker, Alabama as the G8. Uh, we were actually TDY here. I was here with my boss at the time, Colonel Davis D. Tendall. And uh, we were here to brief the, the uh, G4 of the United States Army on some of our supply operations. Uh, as we entered the building that morning, it was a beautiful morning, it was sunny. Uh, we were in a TDY status. We were gonna go and brief the G4 and then turn around and, and return to Fort Rucker later that day in a military aircraft. We uh, came into the building and there was a security guard there who met us. Uh, he could tell we were from out of town asked us if we needed some assistance, and uh, we said yes, we're trying to locate uh, a conference room. He gave us some assistance, and he said, once you get there, turn on the television, because you will see that an airplane hit one of the Twin Towers. And so we uh, found our way uh, to, the, to the conference room. It was actually on the first floor on the A-ring, so we could actually look out over the courtyard. And um, <clears throat> sure enough, there was a TV there. We turned it on. And as we turned it on, we actually saw the second airplane hit the other Twin Tower. It seemed like it wasn't just but a couple minutes after that as we were watching the TV that we felt the, the Pentagon shake. Uh, we heard a loud rumble. Uh, we looked out across the courtyard and we could see on the other side of the Pentagon a very dark black plume of smoke, which was obviously uh, uh, later understood it to be JP-8 or some aircraft fuel that was burning. And then we understood that uh, there was yet a commercial airliner that had hit the Pentagon, uh, fortunately on the other side of the Pentagon from where we were located. So at that point, uh, we kind of figured it out. Uh, the briefing we were going to be conducting was not going to happen. And so we started to collect our belongings and depart the Pentagon and uh, relocate uh, the vehicle that we had parked in the south parking lot. Um, as we were walking out the building, there were several individuals in a state of panic. Uh, so we kind of corralled them and, and helped them find their way out of the Pentagon. And then uh, for the remainder of the morning, uh, once we located our, our vehicle, uh, we tried to, of course, like most people, uh, as soon as I could, I located a telephone and called and uh, let my, my Young daughter at the time, four years old, let her know that daddy was okay there in Alexandria. The whole area was quite congested with traffic. We pulled off at a bookstore there on Highway 1 and uh, asked them if we could come in and use some of their communications equipment. Uh, and so we set up a little makeshift talk, if you will, and uh, we made a point to try to locate everybody from Fort Rucker, Alabama that we knew was in the D.C. area. Uh, we managed to do that. Um, we managed to get our, our hotel reservations back, and then we, we stayed overnight there in the Alexandria area for, for the remainder of that day, and then the next morning we took our vehicle, uh, actually it was a rental van, and drove 15 hours back to Fort Rucker, Alabama. I would characterize that drive as it's quite sobering and, uh, you know, left a lot of questions in our mind as to what the future uh, of America was going to be now that uh, we had uh, uh, ha had an attack on the homeland like that. So uh, really that was my, that was my experience. Uh, returning to Fort Rucker, Alabama, uh, shared my experience with a couple of the local media. So I stay in contact with uh, several people who were with me on that day. Um, they were friends to begin with uh, and coworkers. Uh, but uh, we, we have stayed in contact, and uh, I don't think we necessarily reminisce about that day and, and, and share our memories, but we certainly do remember, like everybody does, that on the, on the 11th of September in 2001, who you were with and what you were doing at the time. So I, I would suppose you might say there's a special bond between, between us uh, who were together during that time.